Storage of perishable and non-perishable foods. Hmm. I thought my mom is the best cook. <laughs> Until you tasted my food, I believe she's still your best. You're right, especially when she's cooking fish. Which is a perishable food, just like meat and meat products, milk and milk products, vegetables and eggs. I know perishable foods go bad very quickly, therefore should be stored in the fridge or under low temperature so that they last long. You have lessened my work here. The fridge has different compartments used to store different foods. Here, look at the inside of my fridge. Raw foods such as meat and chicken, which are for later use, should be in the freezer compartment, which is at the top as you can see. But foods to be used within a few hours or days should be stored in the first and second shelves below the freezer compartment. Mm. Does that include all foods? Not really. I'm referring to foods like beef, bacon, pork, poultry, and fish. However, butter and cheese should be wrapped in greaseproof paper and stored in the top shelf. Other foods that need wrapping but in perforated paper bags before storage include vegetables, salad ingredients, and citrus foods. But as far as I can see, you have them in the bottom shelf. Good observation. But be advised not to store bananas in the fridge as they will turn black. What? I didn't know that. Now you know. Moving on, we use the compartments on the fridge door to store foods such as eggs and bottled milk. As for fresh milk in packets, they are stored in the coolest shelf and that is... The top shelf just below the freezer compartment. All these involve raw foods, I guess. So, in which shelf do we store cooked food? I must admit that that is a thoughtful question, Jim. Cooked food should be stored in the middle shelves. Okay. So, how do you determine which foods goes into which compartment, Nancy? The guiding principle is that the freezer is the coolest part of the fridge. Therefore, the closer the shelf is to the freezer, the colder it is. In other words, when storing perishable foods, determine how quickly they go bad before storing them in appropriate shelves. Mm. And more importantly, all food stored in the fridge must be covered. Wow, makes a lot of sense. Now, if bananas are not stored in the fridge, which place would be best for them? The same place where we store non-perishable foods, such as cereals and groceries. Okay. I don't intend to sound dumb, but are groceries same as tea leaves, sugar, salt, cooking fat and uh, unga? Yes, yes. And they are labeled and stored in cupboards, food store, or a ladder. A ladder? Like... The tool we use when climbing walls? Easy! A ladder in this case is a cool room or large cupboard used to store foods that are non-perishable. They were commonly used before the invention of refrigerators. Thank you! All this while I've been thinking how guys in the rural places store their perishables since most of them do not have fridges and even if they did, there is no electricity. Mm -hmm. Now, do they have to eat all their foods while fresh due to lack of proper storage equipment? You are way too clever for your age, boy. I totally concur that rural dwellers have hard time preserving perishable foods, especially fish, milk, and vegetables. However, there are interventions or skills that we can employ to make sure food is kept fresh for future use, even in the rural areas. I am listening. You may have heard the word improvising before, right? Yep. Making an item from what is available when you cannot afford it in the market. Excellent. Think of any storage item that can be improvised. Hmm. A meat safe. And a charcoal cooler. Right track.
we can also improvise a milk cooler. Interesting. How? I'll show you. Pour your fresh milk in a clean bottle or jar. Place it in a basin with cold water. Cover the bottle with a muslin cloth, making sure the ends of the cloth touch the water in the basin. Scientifically, water moves up the muslin cloth by capillary action and draws the heat from the milk bottle, thus cooling it in the process. Hmm. However, this technique cannot keep the milk fresh for longer than 12 hours. Mm -hmm. I'll take up the challenge and try your trick this evening. See if it works. Walking the talk, huh? That's great. Now, before evening comes, do you mind if we walk out and have a breath of fresh air? You're a nice person, Dr. Nancy. Thank you.